Sanded through some of our epoxy primer. So, what I'm going to do is grab a roller and roll it on, kind of just like house paint. See where we went through right there? I'm going to roll over that. And at first, I thought it was kind of a crazy idea. But if you look at one of the car repair systems, I wish I could remember what it's called, they have a spot where they just roll it on with a house roller. Um, we're going to use a foam roller. I was trying to see what that was. Anyways, that's a foam roller. It's just got a lot of stuff on it. But so we'll just mix our epoxy one to one. And we'll just go to these spots right here. We'll just roll on the epoxy. Just like if we were doing the house. We'll roll over some of these spots where we sanded through. And then uh, we'll hit it with the 2K. But uh, I'm gonna roll out some epoxy primer and then I'll do an update after we get some on here. The nice thing about rolling it is I won't get overspray everywhere. We're gonna try and guide coat this. This is just black primer. And uh, we did our high build primer. You can see the color difference here. Uh, make sure you guys wear your respirators too. I didn't have one on the last video when I was rolling it. The, the epoxy wasn't so bad, but this high build stuff is terrible. Anyways, so just tiger stripe it like this. And they have like powder you can use, but I don't have any powder. So I'm just gonna go in a grid just like this. And we rolled out the high build primer, um, just like we did the epoxy. And the only thing that I wish was a little different is the roller we got dissolved a little bit with the chemicals from the high build. It just separated the glue on the roller and it dissolved. See, we got a piece of roller right there. You can't see that right there, you go. And so that's one downside of rolling it. But once you find good rollers, it's not a big deal. I guess you could get them oil base rated, maybe. I haven't looked into it, but if I do it again, that's one thing I would make sure. Is just make sure you have a decent foam roller. I use the ones at Home Depot, and clearly they did not work because I got foam pieces in my paint. Not too big a deal because we already have it sealed with the epoxy. And when we go to sand this, it'll pull most of that out. Anyways, what we're gonna do today is, is we're doing our guide coat, but the sun's gonna come out. The sun's gonna come out and hit this and bake it. So that way when we go to sand it, it should come right off.
and you kind of see. And so what this does is when we start sanding it, it'll show us any spots we missed and it'll show us any low spots. Um, so show us that our high spots will come out in metal probably. It depends on how bad they are. Um, and then we can look at it and see what kind of work needs to be done. If we need to do any more body work, any body fill. And like I said, this is just black sandable primer. And you can see the sun, the sun's gonna come out and just bake this thing. You can see the sun right there, it'll just come out and bake. All right, you can see our guide coat. We just tiger striped it. And then we'll just walk around and look for any spots we might have missed. See, like this could use a little bit. We don't want it super thick, but just light dustings. So when we're sanding it, we can see any of our low spots. We can see our progress where we have sanded it. And then uh, we'll get to work on sanding this. Lots of sanding. I probably sanded this thing already for. I don't know, it feels like 20, 30 hours already. So we'll sand it for another 10 or 15. So anyways, that's what it looks like after you do your quick guide coat. And uh, I didn't worry about these areas too much because I'm gonna hand sand that anyways. And uh, I don't know, I might, I might add some guide coat in there once I get going, but for now, we'll just start with this. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Just do a quick grid. And the sun's going to come out. You can see the sun starting to bake right here. Um, in a few hours, the sun will come out and bake this whole thing. And then we'll get going on sanding it. Anyways. There it is. Anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions. Like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Thanks. Bye.